I just want to write the time quickly. Okay, today we're going to do some listening. Let's get our listening. Can you see the picture? I can see. You can see, good, okay. Let me find our listening quickly and then you're going to draw for me. Um, one minute. Okay. Test three. Three. Which flies practice listening S three. Okay, let's see. Can you find Tom? I see him. Look, he's between the two clowns. Oh yes, and he's smiling. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen to all lines. Okay, you ready? I'm looking for David now. Where is he? He's buying a ticket for the game. Oh, I see him. Must I help you? David. David is buying a ticket for the game. Yay, very good. Okay. Who's the girl playing with the balls? The one with straight hair? Yes. Does she work here at the circus? Yes. Her name's Pat. Girl playing with the balls. Her name's Pat. Yay, very good. Where's Mary? She's just finished the game. Look, she's won something. What is it? It's an orange fish. Yay, very good, Tao. Look, there's Peter. He works here too. I don't see him. What's he doing? He's riding his bicycle over the big rocks. That looks dangerous. Yes, but he's very careful. Good, well done. Which girl is Vicky? Can you see the girl wearing a green skirt? Yes. She is tall with curly hair. Yay, very good, Tao. Okay. Let's... Now listen to part one. Okay, we're not going to listen again. Let's see. Let's go on to part two. We've got Mrs. Fish. Okay, the lady's name is Fish. Mrs. Fish. Okay. Part two. There is one example. Hello, Mrs. Fish. How old are you? Well, I'm 84 now. I've lived a long time. Wow. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Have you got a lot of grandchildren? Oh, yes. I've got four children and seven grandchildren. That's great. Do you see them often? 
Yes, they live near me and we go on holiday together. My favourite place. How many children? Four children and seven grand. Yay, good cow. Okay, now she said my favourite place to go is the beach. My favourite place to go is the Yay, good job. Okay. Her old job was... Do you still work, Mrs. Finn? No, not now. But I did when I was younger. I was a nurse. Oh. Good. Okay. When she was young, she lived on a... That's good. I want to be a journalist. Have you always lived here in the city? No. When I was a child, I lived on a farm in the country. Uh, I lived on a farm in the country. Good, okay. And number five, she woke up early to give food to the... Did you like it there? Yes, but I had to wake up early and give food to all the animals. What? Yay, okay, just remember, she says animals. Animals. So we put it, yay. Perfect. Very nice work, Tao. Good listening. Okay, let's go on to part three. I'm very happy with that. Good job. Okay. Who likes which food? Let me just write their names quickly. Um, okay. Let's do purple. We've got Jim's brother. Oops, not Kim. Jim. Okay. Jim's mother. Jim's uncle. And Jim's sister. Jim's grandma. Jim's cousin. Okay, let's go see. Who likes which food? Okay, I'm going to just put... Uh, let's see if I can make it smaller. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Part three. <clears throat> Listen and look. There is one example. What will you have for dinner tonight, Jim? We are having pizza. It's my brother's favourite food. It's my favourite food too. Okay, you can do the example for me. Good. Okay, let's go. Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. And what about your sister? Does she like pizza too? Yes, but it's not her favourite. What's her favourite then? She likes chocolate best. Yes, good job. Okay, let me cross it out every time. Okay, so we've got A and we've got G. 
I think your mother likes sweet things too. Yes, she does, but she likes cheese more. She eats it a lot. Does she? That's good. Yay, good job, Tal. And what does your uncle like? Oh, he eats anything, but I think his favourite is burgers. Yes, burgers are good. Very good. I've seen your cousin eating a lot of fruit. Are <laughs> bananas her favourite? She likes them, but I think her favourite is pineapple. Oh yes, I've seen her eat that too. Well done, Tao. Very nice listening. What and does your grandma mean? lives with you, doesn't she? That's right. What's her favourite food? She likes cakes best. She makes them for our birthdays and she's very good at it. Yay! Very nice, Tao. Well done. Your listening is very good. I'm very happy with you. Okay, let's check. A, B or C? Let's go. Okay, let's, we have to listen to the example first. I'll try and go past. You visited a farm, didn't you, Robert? That's right. I went with my uncle. Did you go on Wednesday? No, we went on Friday. That's good. It rained on Thursday, so it's good you didn't go on that day. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which animal was in the lake? What did you see at the farm? Well, there's a big lake behind the farmer's house. Are there fish in the lake? No, but there are birds. There aren't any swans, but there are some ducks. There aren't any swans, but there are ducks. Yes, very good. Okay. What did Robert help the farmer plant? Okay, that's clear. Two. What did Robert help the farmer plant? What else did he do? I helped the farmer plant vegetables. Did you? Were they carrots or onions? No, he's already planted those. I helped with the tomatoes. <laughs> I helped with the tomatoes. Very good. Okay, number three. What kind of juice did Robert make? Three. What kind of juice did Robert make? We also made juice from the fruit on the trees. Did you make lemonade? No, he hasn't got any lemon trees. He has lime trees and apple trees, but we made apple juice. Yes, good. Okay, let's clear. How many eggs did Robert get? Four. How many eggs did Robert get? What did you do next? I got eggs from the chickens. One or two eggs? No, there were lots. I found 14 eggs. Wow. Good. Okay, last one, number five. Five. Remember to say thank you to the farmer. Of course, and I gave him a present. Oh, that's nice. What did you give him? 
I gave him a pair of gloves, and he gave me a comic book. It's here in my rucksack. That was very nice of him. I gave him a pair of gloves. Yay, very good. Okay, now we're going to write and color. Let me make it a bit smaller. Okay, so we can see everything. Okay. Let me find it quickly. Can you see the flags above the castle? Yes. Shall I color them? Yes, color them green. Okay. Can you see the green flags? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. Now I would like you to color something. Find the man who is standing on the bridge. Okay, I found him. Color his suitcase brown. Okay, I've just done that. you see the ducks in the water? I see three ducks. Good. Colour the duck at the bottom of the picture black. Yes. The one at the bottom, which is bigger than the other two. Yay, very good, Carl. <clears throat> Three. I would like you to write something now. What shall I write? Do you see the castle? Yes, it is very big. Above the entrance, I want you to write the word castle. Okay, that's easy. Yay! Four. There are three boys playing football on the grass. I see them. Look at the boy who's kicking the ball. Okay. Color his shoes red, please. Both his shoes red? Right. Good job. Five. And now, do you see the bridge? Yes, of course. I want you to write the word bridge on it. Okay. Where? On the part of the bridge that is in front of the man with the suitcase. in front of the man with the suitcase. Yay! 
Yay, very good listening, Tao. Let me give you some stars. I'm very happy with your listening. Good job. Okay. Let's go on to test four. We're going to do some more listening. Let me find it quickly. Okay. You can see all the names. Yes. Test four. Flyers practice listening test four. Which boy is Ben? Look, he's bringing drinks to his friends. He's trying to carry three glasses. He must be careful or he will drop them. It's okay. He's always careful. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Now, do you see Harry? Yes, he works at this cafe. He's the one standing next to the table. Has he got black hair? Yes, that's him. Good. And where is Helen? Is she here? Yes. She's the girl who's holding a glass of milk. Oh, I think I see her. Has she got a pint of biscuits? That's right. Very good. What's Daisy doing? She's eating lunch. Look, she's got chicken and rice. And she's holding a blue glass. Oh, I see her. Well done, Tao. Can you find Jack? He's standing next to a girl. I think that's his sister. You're right. Look, he's giving her a book. Jack. Good. <clears throat> And who's the girl who's standing next to a table? Do you mean the girl in the green dress? Yes, that's her. Oh, that's Betty. She's holding a sandwich. Yay, very good, Tao. Okay, let's go. We go to part two. The holiday. Okay. On Sunday, we'll play volleyball. That's right. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. What are we going to do on Monday? Well, we're going to go to the circus. Great. I love the circus. Now. On which day? Yay, good. Okay. Tuesday, the newspaper says it's going to rain. <laughs> so we'll stay at home and play table tennis. Very good. Wednesday, they will watch a... Can't we go to the cinema? I don't want to drive in the rain. OK, what about Wednesday? Well, I have tickets to a football game, so we can watch that.
but we will watch a football game. Football game. Yay, very good. Okay. Um, okay, where's it gone now? Okay. It's going to play. Miller Town and the Desert Snakes. Now, on Thursday, we'll go to the mountains and have a picnic. And Friday? Then we'll have a picnic on... Which day? On Thursday, we will go to the mountains and have a picnic. Oh, wait, sorry. They will have a picnic on the... Where are they going to, where are they going to have the picnic? Where are they going? We'll go to the mountains and have a picnic. Yay, good. Mountains. Put an S on the end. Very good. Okay. And on Friday is the last day. How about going fishing? Okay, that sounds good. On the last day, they will go... Yay, well done, Tao. Very good. Okay, let's move on to part three. You're doing very well. I'm very happy with your listening. Okay, so now, where did Mary put her things? Let me write it for us quickly. We have a doll, pencil, umbrella, Mirror, school book, and a comb. Okay. Where did Mary put her things? Okay, I have to make it a bit smaller. Yes, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's in your school bag. Okay, that's the doll. You can see the letter C. No. Can you write it for me? By the doll? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, no. I need to comb my hair and I can't find my comb. Why don't you keep it in your bedroom like everyone else? I do usually, but I thought I left it in the bathroom and it's not there. Oh, here it is. It's in your bedroom, but on the floor.
comme Good. Now, where's my school book? I need it for school. Isn't it in your bedroom? Well, I took it from my bedroom and, oh look, it's on the sofa in the living room. On the sofa. Remember, sofa is bigger. Yes, good. I think it's going to rain. Have you got your umbrella, May? My umbrella. Now, let me think. Was it on the bookcase or did I put it on the armchair? Oh, May, do you always forget everything? Oh, I remember. I put it on the bookcase. Good job. Mum, do you remember where I put my mirror? I need it so I can comb my hair. I have no idea where you put your mirror. I know I didn't put it in my school bag and it isn't in my bedroom. The only place it could be is in the bathroom. Let's see. Oh yes, I was right. Are you there, Tao? Oh. Hello? The mirror in the bathroom. Hello? Hello, teacher. <clears throat> okay. The mirror in the bathroom. Okay, very good, Tom. And last one, where is the pencil? I think I have everything now. Oh no, wait, where is my pencil? I saw a pencil on the kitchen table. Oh no, sorry, that was your pen. Oh, here it is. What is it doing on the television? I put it there when my friend phoned me and I went to pick it up. On the television. Well done. Very good, Tao. Okay, good job. Let's see. Okay, first we're going to come back, then we will do part four. Let's come back. <laughs> 